Welcome back into K-State Online. It's another Friday, which means that we are here to maybe have a little bit of fun. Uh, still workshopping how I want Drew and D.Y. to go head-to-head in these games, but I think I have somewhat of an idea of how it's working now. So today, you each are going to get three prompts or questions. There are multiple answers to each one. Each one you give, you get a point for it. The first two sets of questions, there is a football and a basketball one for each of them. Now, uh, somehow randomly, one of you is going to decide that you get football for your first question and basketball for your second, and the other will get the, the other way around, however it works. The last one is all about football. And better than that, most of it has occurred during DY's time covering K State. <laughs> most, of it. most of it, including a very special category that uh, I hope it works in his favor that he ends up getting. But we'll see how that ends up working out. A reminder: DY won just a barn burner last week, and both players are well aware now. Yeah, we got Coach Prime in the house over there. I don't know what that's about. Um, uh, my, my, I'm, we're going to recruit, have my sons do the uh, show for me. That's what it's. <laughs> okay. Well, I didn't know if you were jonesing for bonus points already, because I will give those out uh, whenever I feel like it. If you say something that uh, I'm like, oh, yeah, that's pretty good. That's good. Good knowledge bomb right there. So uh, without further ado, uh, I'm going to I'm going to write a number down on a piece of paper right here. Um, it's going to be any number out there. Just it could be any of them. I'm not giving you any parameters. It could uh, be any of them. It could be any integer. Uh, <laughs> and you just have to you just have to give me uh, the number that you think it is, and whoever's closer to that number is the winner. So, uh, Drew, what, what, what what's your guess? Yeah, you yeah, can go over. It? Yeah. All right. Uh, we'll go seventy-seven. Okay. Dy. Forty-four point eight. <laughs> Wow. Well, I mean, those are two great guesses because there are a lot of numbers out there that were possible. I could have written down a thousand. I could have written down, you know, a billion. Uh, instead, I wrote down 55. So DY is closer. Uh, so what what that means is you get to decide if you think uh, I'll give you this option. You you can either decide if you know football and basketball scores better or wins in football and basketball better. So the first category that you guys have will be about people that have scored in football or basketball games. The second category is going to be about big wins in football and basketball. So you decide which one you want football and basketball for here. Uh, football scores, basketball wins. Can I do that? Yep, that, that works. Yep. That works. Okay, that's, that's probably perfect here. Uh, and because you want football scores – uh, Drew gets to go first here. So just, uh, oh, you I know, but... deferred. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, you essentially deferred there. Yeah, pretty much. But, you know, he gets to see how this goes. And as always, uh, with the multiple choices that are going to be out there, uh, DY is going to have the opportunity to steal any that Drew leaves on the board here. Uh, you get five guesses in this round. Obviously, five answers. You get them all. You get five points. You get two. You get two points. Uh, that's how it goes. We'll see. We'll see where everything goes from here. I promise that the answer is not on the screen currently. <laughs> no promises moving past that point. All right. Uh, let's do this thing and get underway. I'll get the dramatic music playing in the background so everybody is ready to roll on that. Uh, score 30 or more points in a basketball game at K-State. Now the way that this is is set up to work, uh, you it's the unique score. So it's not like if somebody scored yeah. thirty three times, they're the last three. Not how that works. You have to give me uh, the the five different thirty point scores uh, in K State basketball. Uh, the last five to do it. So your time. I my daughter has my phone, so <laughs> I don't have a timer for you. It's arbitrary in my head. Uh, you get to start now, though, and uh, if you're taking too long, I'll put the heat on you. Uh, Marquise Noel. Let's uh, let's confirm here. That is correct. Great, <laughs> great guess. Uh, he did it against Texas last season. 36 points against Texas. So that is one point for Drew. Keontae Johnson. 
That is incorrect. Keontae mm-hmm. Johnson never scored 30 points at K mm-hmm. State. So you now have three guesses left. Uh, I believe that Tyler Perry had a 30 point game this this season. That's not a good guess either. He did not. He came close. He had 29. Uh, against, again, yeah, multiple times he came really close there. A bucket away. So you only have two guesses left and only one point currently. Uh, Barry Brown. There we go. That is uh, that is a smart move by you. Barry Brown is on there. He did it twice in uh, his career at K-State. One more. And one then, more guess here. Ooh. And then uh, Sneaky Cam Stokes. Oh coming. man, that was a that was just a bad guess there. Uh, I know that the Cam Stokes defenders out there are, are sad that that's wrong. It's not, uh, or it's it's not right. It is wrong. So there were three out there in terms I of he did uh, it against North Carolina. No, I thought he did it against North Carolina too. Uh, yes, he may have, but, but it, it doesn't go back five. that far. He was not in the last five to score mm. thirty. So uh, I'm going to give. Um, I'm going to give D.Y. the opportunity here. Actually, real quick, I'll, I'll fact check that for you just so you uh, you believe me. But I, I I went back and looked. So unless I missed something uh, egregious, I don't think that it happened. It, no, it's possible because he would have done it before I even covered yeah, the team. Yeah, only 24 yeah. points in that game for Kamal Stokes. Oh, so wow. he had a good game, but it was only 24 points. So... Uh, let's let's go to DY now. You have an opportunity here. Three guesses for you to try and steal some points. Okay, I get three guesses. Dean Wade. Dean Wade is correct. Let me get him up there. Uh, Dean Wade scored 34 points against Iowa State on the road in Hilton. I was surprised that that wasn't one of five guesses by Drew. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. see, that probably would have been one that he should have guessed. No, but it scared me because I never thought that he took enough shots to get to 30. That is a great point. Uh, Bruce Weber, after that one game in Stillwater, said that, you know, after he was asked about going nine for nine, he said, actually, it's a bad thing. It means he didn't take enough shots. So uh, two more guesses for DY here, who's on the uh, steel train. Uh, I'll just, again, I'll probably keep playing it somewhat safe and say Jacob Pullen. Uh, doesn't go back that far. Okay. So that is an incorrect guess. Uh, right. So now you have one more opportunity out there to get a point and make it a tie game before your category even comes up. All right. We're running out of ammo here. It's interesting that I think Desi Sills came close, but I don't think he got there. That would have been a weird one. Um, so I'm going to say McCall Moeen, I think, he got it at the Sprint Center. Ooh, Sprint Center Mac. Uh, I believe he came up a point shy against KU oh. in the Big oh. 12 tournament. Uh, we'll we'll cease the the music. I have no idea how long I have that music bed. Uh, here are the two names that you guys ended up missing. You're gonna kick yourself for the last one, but the first one down there at the bottom, Marcus Foster had 34 against Texas. Uh, so that's how that ends up working out. Didn't go back far enough to pull in, and then. This is the one that you guys really probably should have gotten. Any guesses here now that the it doesn't count? Xavier Sneed? Nope. Drew? Is this, is this like, so it's it's after, or it's before Noel, but after Barry? Yep. Is it, uh, did Cartier Jara have a? Oh, man, you guys, how quick you forget. You've just blocked him from your memory. Nigel Pack did it three times. Oh. Yeah. No, I, I, when I was going through, I was like, okay, I knew the KU game. And then I went and looked, and it was like, oh, there's two more games that, that season where he had 30-plus wow. in a game. But, yes, Nigel Pack three times. That, that, that year is just – yeah, that, al- that year is an albatross. It's hard to consider it. Yeah. Tyler Kirby right. had 29 twice as a killer. Yeah, he, um, that was – I mean, not bad guesses, just not great ones. Okay, uh, let me get the points up there real quick before we uh, get, you know, rolling on. Too much further. All right, they're there. Everybody sees how it's working now. Uh, we have it set up, and uh, now we get ready to uh, show what DY has coming up. So 30-point mm. scores in basketball is what you had. Now for football, what you are going to get is players that have scored three or more rushing or receiving touchdowns in a game. Now it is going to be 
over the last, you know, the last five individual players to do it. So okay. that's how it ends up working out. I'll start the music. You'll be able to go. And uh, we are underway there with uh, the last five uh, three plus touchdown game scores. So whenever you're ready, you can start Rushing. guessing. Well, Avery at five rushing against Texas Tech last year. He's up there. Yeah, that's a smart. That's a smart one. Just get a get get a point on the board quickly. Avery Johnson, five against Texas Tech. Uh, Deuce Vaughn had to have done it probably a lot. Yeah, Deuce Vaughn did it four times in his career at K State. Yeah, now now it's when it kind of gets a little bit tricky. Those were the. You know, I'm going to perhaps be a little silly. Didn't Will Howard do it against KU or something? Mm, that is incorrect. No on Will Howard, but I appreciate you being silly there. I appreciate you being silly. I I, I, I sometimes try to get too cute with these, I think, to be quite honest. Um, the three receiving touchdown ones, that's going to be the, the weird one. I don't know if that's... Uh, that's carry. just that's just combined rushing and receiving. Well, I know, so so, all it is, all it's doing is taking passing I, touchdowns. I, I, out I, of yeah, I was I was just commenting that I don't know that there's a receiver in my time that's been capable of that. Although Kate Warner might have got close, but I don't think so. Malik Knowles, no. You know, I'm just DJ Giddens. Is he not up there? No. DJ Giddens had four against UCF this past season, so that's a that's a good guess there. All right, so you One used. More? You have one more here. One more. Oh. oh. Let's see here. It's probably that Oklahoma State game in 17, probably at someone. So Byron Pringle. Oh, that one is incorrect. That does not fit into the time parameters that we're looking for. So Drew... Okay. You have the opportunity to get guess. the final two points here. Not a not a bad guess, uh, but yeah, he's he had three receiving touchdowns in that game. Uh, so Drew, any guesses here? I have a silly one because I'm not sure where it lines up on this timeline. But Skylar Thompson, I think, had four against Oklahoma. And uh, Skylar Thompson did it three times where he had three or more rushing touchdowns well, in I a have game. Two, I have two other good guesses. I think and so. Then, uh, my other one, I'm going to take a shot on this, Fleur, because I think that it's the only wide receiver that possibly could have done it, Malik Knowles. Incorrect. Uh, can, I, can I give guesses? Yeah, you can give a guess. It doesn't count. You both. No, but I, have, I have three that I think could be up here. Okay. What, what about Adrian, what about Adrian Martinez against Oklahoma? Oh, Yeah, Adrian yeah. Martinez did it twice, back-to-back -back weeks against – Oklahoma and Texas Tech last and, season. And my other two that I was going to consider was Alex Barnes and Dalton Schoen. Yeah, yeah I, didn't, I didn't have to go back that far for those. Uh, Dalton Schoen, I never did it. Uh, Byron Pringle is the last receiver to have three touchdowns mm. receiving in a game, and that was that Oklahoma State game in 2017. Alex uh, so, Barnes probably did it in Waco. I want yeah, to say. that Baylor game he had to have. Yeah, right. that's that's probably right. It, it is funny, though, that it's the last five, three touchdown rushing or receiving, and no receiver makes the list, but there's three different three, quarterbacks. Three quarterbacks, yes, exactly. <laughs> it's very on brand for K-State, the way that that, that that worked out there. So, all right, uh, that's that's how it shapes up. After round one, it's four to three is our score. Uh, D.Y. has the lead here. And since D.Y. got football the the first time through, it now means that uh, he is going to get basketball, and this is all about big wins. So uh, what you have to come through and tell me now, D.Y., is yeah. – let me get this uh, all sized up properly so that way everybody can see and it doesn't look second rate. I don't – you know, we, we don't want this looking like it's a sloppy production, even though it, it is at times. Uh, you have to give me the last five different schools that K-State beat for a top 10 win. Now this is you were getting uh you're getting basketball here. So uh, I had to confirm that I picked the right one. I did. Let mm -hmm. me uh get it tossed up there. And uh, I promise the answers are not on the screen. So for ba basketball. 
This is for basketball, for D.Y., who has a 4-3 to three lead currently. The music has started, and uh, you are able to go ahead and start answering away here. Uh, Baylor. That is correct. Twice against Baylor in the time parameters. That's another thing to keep in mind here. It may have happened, but it's the last five different schools, but Baylor, obviously, the last two seasons for K-State. Kansas. Yep, four times against KU uh, during this time period that we're looking at, mm -hmm. including the last two seasons. Yep. That's a good yeah. one back to yourself. You can give yourself one point, Mason. <laughs> nah, it's all right. I'm not taking any points away from the people here. Yeah. Um, now it's just a wonder if some of these teams were high enough for it. This is harder than I expected it to be. No, th this one is very hard. <laughs> well, Oklahoma. That is Young. a great guess. It, three times during this time frame, K State has beaten a top 10 Oklahoma basketball team. One of those was Marcus Foster. Yes, it was. Yeah, K State. I, I remember uh, Bruce beat uh, top 10 Oklahoma with Trey Young, I think. Yeah, yeah. that was number four Oklahoma. Uh, yeah. Prior to that, like two years earlier, K-State had beaten number one Oklahoma at home. Mm -hmm. So I'm guessing like all of these might be Big 12 teams, but what if, does it, the NCAA tournament count? It would. The NCAA tournament would count. Okay. What about Kentucky? Nope, that's incorrect. Kentucky was not a top 10 team. I thought the one that uh, Bruce beat. That's what I was thinking. But yeah, no, that one was. Uh, they were. They You're were like five seed. Like yeah, they weren't a very high seed either. So that's okay. the first incorrect. You got one more guess here. Two, Nothing. Two schools no, remain. Yeah, and I don't think it's any of these NCAA tournament ones. Boy, definitely harder than I thought. I'll say. Texas. That is incorrect. So only three points achieved here by DY, which means, Drew, you now have the opportunity to come in and uh, try and make a little bit of a, a dent here as DY now leads seven to three. I'm just trying to think of what the, what the timeline is here and, and if this team was high enough, but mm -hmm. I, I think Texas Tech in 2019 was top 10. Mm, that is incorrect. So that is an X there. One more guess, a chance for a point here. Okay. This yeah, this is very tough. Uh, I would go... Hmm. This doesn't feel great at all. But, uh, like... I'm just trying to think of other Big 12 schools that it could be. And Iowa State's the one that came to my mind. So we'll go and with that, the Clones. That, I think that's a good answer. Dang it. That's a great answer. Number six, Iowa State lost this to year. K State well, this year, last day of the regular season uh, in Bramlage. So there you go. Drew so does get one. at least one point from that and make it, it'll make it seven to four. Uh, as the score goes. So, yeah, there you go. Uh, the only other team that you guys were missing on that list, and you do have to go back a little bit for this one, um, and this would have been the year prior to DY actually showing up at K-State. This is my freshman year. K-State beat number seven West Virginia in a blackout Ooh, in Branch. Yeah. So that is uh, that is the the one that was missing there. But good guesses all around there. Uh, a little surprising on that Texas Tech team, but if you th like think back to it, that whole season, K State and Texas Tech never got like insanely high in the top twenty-five, uh, even though they were pacing the Big Twelve most of the way. So, I, I think that Tech and only ended up being like a three or four seed too. Yeah. So, all right, there you go. Uh, here we stand, seven to four. You guys have been tested a little bit more here because there aren't as many fun facts being thrown about. Nobody's trying to get. Extra points. Uh, so this I guess one's been more on fun, though. I will say, I think you've really mastered it. Yeah, yeah I think the, the, this one's a lot harder. I think than the last one, which is which has made us think more and not having fun. Facts. And fun to explore. I hope I don't 
give a lot of dead time when I'm thinking. No, no, this is this has been good. Okay, so we head into our final category. It's seven to four. Dy has the lead here. Drew, since you are trailing, you are going to get to choose your category. Both are football wait, related. Well, wait, do do I not get like top ten like football wins? Oh crap! Yeah, I forgot <laughs> all about that. Maybe this is taking longer than I thought. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to take this away from you, Drew. Uh, <laughs> maybe you won't be trailing. I don't know. Great point. Uh, way to keep me honest here. Okay, uh, let me let me make sure no answers are being seen. We don't want that. It's happened before on this game. Uh, <laughs> It's happened before. Couldn't tell you when or how or why. All right, you get the last five different schools that K-State has beaten for a top 10 win in football. This is easier. Football is easier for this one. Right. Uh, so D-Y's, I don't know. Uh, D-Y might change know, his stand on that. Because after like the first few for football, like, it's going to get tough. So Oklahoma has obviously won. Yes, Oklahoma. Five times in this time frame, K-State has beaten a top 10 Oklahoma team. Uh, I believe... Ooh, actually, I don't know if this... Oh, yeah, it is. Oklahoma State. Yep. Oklahoma State twice has been a top 10 team that has lost to K-State during this time frame. Oh, yeah. uh, one of which was that three touchdown this game for Byron Pringle. Hard. Yes. This does get hard. Never mind. And, and, then, and then it was 48-0. Yes, and then 48-0. Uh, this, this is where it starts to get a little tougher. Uh, TCU? Yep. That is correct. TCU number three, 2022. And then... Oh God! <laughs> um, let's see. We'll run run some off here. This doesn't feel great, but because it's the last five different schools, maybe West Virginia snuck in there. Mm, that is incorrect. So that is Ooh. an X there. And then the last one I thought of was Baylor. That is also incorrect. So two quick whiffs there, Dy. Uh, we now go to you, your opportunity for a couple of points. Drew has tied the game, though. So good thing he pointed out that, hey, maybe I should get a fair shot in this category because he has made it a tie ball game. Yeah, and this is probably now extends back to the time before I covered the team, perhaps. But uh, Perhaps. Perhaps. Or perhaps not. <laughs> day. Yeah. Well, there are wins. So that makes it tougher, not just games. Does make it that makes it a lot tougher. <laughs> it, it makes it a lot tougher too when Oklahoma only counts once. Yeah. Yeah. Um I don't know that there's been a lot of non con opportunities. So maybe bowl games still then. It's tough. I'm going to just try to be a little practical and pragmatic here. Texas. That's a great guess. Twice it has been Texas as the victim. So there's a point. D.Y. will have the lead going into the final round. Uh, Texas, yeah. I just didn't think that they fell in the parameter. Yeah, they did. Uh, Believe it or not, this – yeah, it's it, Texas did fall in, obviously. Yeah, and if it does fall in, it means it goes back quite a ways, too, to be honest. I'm going to the other one. I think about two or three schools here that used to be in the Big 12 that are no longer in the Big 12, to be honest. I wonder if it goes back that far. So I'll just say Nebraska. That is a great guess. It does go back that far, far 2000 against number four Nebraska. So two points for DY there. That's wow. A big steal. It is that's a big, big. deal. Yeah, that's yeah. A, And I was also tempted to like go Mizzou or Colorado, but yeah. Yep. West no, Virginia and Paul not being a top 10 win, that's crazy. Well, because they had just gotten beat by Texas Tech the week prior. I think they would have been had they actually won that game against Texas Tech. So there you go. Uh, it is nine to seven. So shame on Drew for trying to be like, well, what if I, I needed my chance? I, you know, no, I was he right for that. He shrunk the lead by one. He shrunk the lead by one. That's true. That's true. Give him a little opportunity. All right. Here's the, th here's where the fun begins now, boys. That was clutch by me, by the way. That was very clutch. Yes. All right. So the final category, it's all football. Your opportunities here are either bowl games or bowl game coaching staffs. So it's that's the thing. There are 10 possible answers for each category here. So you could end up with 17 points after this round if you sweep it, Drew. So you have to tell me, do you want bowl games or do you want coaching staffs from bowl games? Uh, I'll take bowl games in general. 
Okay. All right. Let me uh, get this in the right the right spot. Make sure that uh, you know nothing nefarious goes on. No. Okay. No. No names these, up there. These go back a little ways, so this this round could hurt me because of my limited intel. But it's probably good no, for me that look. You- Bowl games. I'm okay. going to be honest with you, D.Y., you got the one that I was hoping you would get. So I'm glad Drew <laughs> chose this one. Drew, your question here, you have to tell me the last 10 <laughs> bowl game sponsors for K-State. So the, 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 the corporate sponsors, the last 10 different corporate sponsors of a K-State <laughs> bowl game, you have to tell me. Uh, let me make sure that I just have all this numbering down here. Makes it easier for me to check off if you get something right or wrong. Okay, we are set. We are good. Fire away. All right, Pop Tarts. That's a that is a great guess to start. That is correct. All state. Also a great guess. You're just you're on fire to start with. Uh, tax Act. Great, awesome. I'm I'm a little surprised by Tax Act, but I know you were there, so that might help. I was gonna say I was there. It helps. Yep. Uh, the Tax Act. <laughs> AutoZone. Another great guest, the Liberty Bowl. I was there. I survived the 2019 Liberty Bowl. I was about to say, I have a question. Is this last 10 unique sponsors? Yes, last 10 unique. Okay. Uh, Buffalo Wild Wings. Another great guest. Buffalo Wild Wings is on there. Uh, Tostitos. Yes, the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl. Okay, now I got to get back into my... Uh, oh, four, so that means, po- four possible answers remain. Uh, that means that AT&T would still be on here, I believe. Yep, the Cotton Bowl in 2011. Uh, new Era. Look at this man. Pinstripe Bowl lover Drew Galloway. Yes, New I, Era. I, I was also there. Fun fact. Oh, well, I'm sorry <laughs> about that, Adrian Hilburn. Uh, um, okay, so we're at eight. Mm, it's getting tight here. It is getting very tight. Yep, you lead by six currently as it stands. I'll, I'll update that after the this current round ends. Two out there. I'm going to put you on the clock. Number one, because I need you to give an answer. Number two, because my daughter is starting to get very fussy about playing this game. She's not a fan. Uh, I don't have anything for the last two. Not even a guess. You don't even want to throw a, a, a guess out there. No, because I, I don't want to reveal what games I think it is. Okay, all right. Well, Drew Drew's going to tap out here. He gets gonna, eight points. We're, we're going to punt. Okay, all right. Well, thank you, Ryan Dore. Uh, <laughs> 15 to 9, now the score. D.Y., any, any guesses on the last two bowl game sponsors up there? These are big points to steal. I'm thinking I can share my uh, – thought process here i'm thinking there's probably the, maybe the holiday bowls in here somewhere maybe the alamo bowl maybe a different sponsor for the cotton bowl i remember looking at the walls of veneer uh to be honest and i do remember there's one cotton bowl it might be too far back but i'll probably go ahead and use this southwestern bell incorrect Okay. So you have one more guess here. That's, think- that's going way back. Also, shout out to, I mean, it's on Drew's wall right there next to him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. Didn't even know. Uh, I mean, I, I don't remember what used to be the. I, I, I can't think of what the Almo Bull sponsor used to be. Uh, this, this, is, this is why I punted to you, because this is the one that I was stuck on. I don't think it's Valero, but I don't remember what it was. Um, and I don't think there was another Sugar Bowl there because I could tell you what that one was if it was. A Valero, I can't, th- I'm not going to take your time too much longer. Uh, Valero is my guess, but the Alma Bowl is something else, I know. Uh, Valero is the correct answer. It is the Valero Alamo Bowl against UCLA. So that might be a big point that DY just saved himself that- there. Was a holiday bowl? Was it the other? Was it a holiday bowl? Was it call again or something? Uh, no, you are missing another Texas bowl. It was the Advocare, the V100 Advocare Texas mm. bowl. Yeah, sorry about that, boys. Okay, so there we have it. It's 15 to 10 as it currently stands. That was a big point for me, man. Yeah, 
Yep, it was a big point. Significant to some. Uh, we will see now what the final category is for DY. And as I said, I promise you were here for this one, and I think it's going to be just a dynamite category for you. Um, you're going to love it the second you see it, Joseph A. Bank style. Uh, here we go. D.Y., you have to tell me the 10 full-time staff, whatever, as it was listed in the media guy, the 10 coaches from the Cactus Bowl season at K-State. So uh, this is Alex Delton, Skylar Thompson, dueling that, with each other. Is that that was the 2017 season? Yeah, that was the 2017 season. So you have to give me the Cactus Bowl coaching staff. There are 10 possible answers out there, I promise. So you have the chance to match Drew and what he did. So you yeah. can fire away. Tom Hayes. Dana Dimmel. Charlie Dickey. Yes, Dana Dimmel on there. Uh, let's go find Charlie Dickey because that is correct. So great, great start there. So three. Mo Lattimore. Mo Lattimore. Mo Lattimore is correct. Get, let's throw Mo up there. Fun uh, fact, I still see him at Colbert Hills quite a bit. So okay, well, buddies, D.Y. Uh, and Mo Lattimore. Yeah. And I, I, I was not going to take that as an answer. I should have, though. That would have given Drew a lot of excitement. Okay. Andre, Andre Coleman. Uh, Andre Coleman is correct. So that's five. Five answers left out there. Yeah, for some reason, I'm kind of drawing a little bit of a blank um Blake Siler Blake Siler makes the list that that clinches the win oh no Drew can steal Never yeah mind. Drew can yeah, steal I, I so can it's steal. 16 to 15 there are four points available so D White has to run the table here to clinch <laughs> but if he doesn't we have a chance for a tie if uh, Drew can come through so uh four possible answers remain out there Sean Snyder Yep, Sean Snyder's correct. Not sure why it took this long. <laughs> I don't need either. Call it which, Klein. Which is the same thing Sean Snyder says to himself when he asks why he's not been a head coach yet. <laughs> Surprised it's taken this long. Uh, Colin Klein is correct. So there are two more names available oh, out there. Yeah, I don't know why I'm drawing blanks on these. Oh, Elliot line. both going to have to settle down. Uh, the crowd is getting rowdy here trying to psych DY out with the, the crowd noise. <laughs> yeah, the, the too, noise is a factor. Yep. It's, too, <laughs> it's two defensive coaches, and it's uh, I'm probably giving away. Uh, I, why is this? Why am I blanking? Why am I, I don't know. I can think of <sighs> coaches after them, but I can't think of. Okay, I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you 15 seconds here to give me the next answer. John Fabris. Oh, look at that. His guy, yeah. John Fabris, the DN's coach, is there. So that that means he at least will tie. Uh there's one name left on this list that DY has not gotten yet. This is this is big. Oh, also, I guess d this is over because Drew actually there was only one answer left. So I was about to yeah, say, I'm, yeah. My, my, if my math is correct, yeah, it's, you're it's right. Over. No, I was I was stuck thinking of back to five questions ago. So this is really just for fun to see if Dy can do it. Uh, he's I, got one possible answer left on this list. Drew, do you know it? Um, I don't think so. It's is it a it's a defensive wait, coach. Wait. Wait, 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 Drew, wait. I think Drew knows it. I think Drew knows it now. I think Drew realizes what's going on here. Or, no, is it a tight ends coach? It, is it just no. Bill Snyder? Yeah, it's Bill Snyder. Bill Snyder would be the 10th uh, full-time coach on this oh, list. Ten assistants. No, no, no. No, you got to – it's Bill Snyder that was on the list there. Uh, yeah, sorry. Oh, Maybe that, that could have been a little bit then. more clear, but I think – I thought you might think, hey, Bill Snyder no, might no, have been you, a coach you, on that team. You, you explained it well, revealed it well, because that was the era where it was still only nine assistant coaches. Now it's 10. All right. Well, there you go. Uh, it's over. D.Y., another win, 19 to 15. I think think you guys enjoyed this one a little bit more. So uh, yeah. we'll kind of keep yeah. this format for next week. Yeah, this one was a lot harder, so I, I enjoyed it. I All was right. Like, for some reason, I was like thinking like uh, 
Hansen. Hansen, the guy that left that was a tight ends coach at one point. I kept thinking about him and Brian Norwood. Yeah. yeah. I as as soon as I, I looked at it more and saw where it where the thing was missing, that's when I put it together. It had to be Bill Snyder. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the member not the happy yeah the crowd not happy about how this game ended was just she was distraught that drew didn't win she was a drew fan uh, the road team won the road team won uh, yeah yeah the right. home crowd not going home happy uh, <laughs> yeah it's, hey it'll be all right drew will get to play again next week and he might win then man she she's not this is going to be a loss she doesn't get over this was her 98 big 12 championship game right here she just Drew hard, hard loss for the fight and Drew. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, that'll do it. 1915, the final score. We'll be back uh, with another version of this next week. And uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. It's basketball season's not coming quick enough for this girl. She needs something to hype her up. I guess uh, I'm going to make her watch Royals baseball and brainwash her there. So for Derek Young and Drew Galloway, I'm Mason Voth. We're out of here. Thanks for watching. Head over to kstateonline.com for more of your K-State football, basketball, recruiting news, and anything else going on because the transfer portal is popping off right now.